Steve, how many episodes in Jeremiah? We've done nine so far. This will be the tenth and our last episode. Thank God, we're going to finish Yay! Jeremiah today. This is the Bible in fewer words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode one hundred and ninety-seven. Jeremiah, chapters forty-four through fifty-two. We want to recognize Deborah for becoming a patron and joining our Patreon group. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the support and the support of all of our patrons. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. I'm ready to leave Jeremiah behind. It's been a hard book. It has so much repetition. Yeah. Chapter forty-four. Okay, verse one. The word of God came to Jeremiah about the Jews who were living in Egypt, saying. You saw all the evil things that I did to Jerusalem. Now I'm going to do evil things to everyone in Judah who has fled to Egypt. I'll kill them all with the sword, famine, and pestilence. There'll be a curse, astonishment, and reproach to everyone who sees them. None of them will escape or survive. The reason we have to include this is because God is really mad at the people of Judah、yeah. in Jerusalem、mm -hmm. who went to. Egypt. Egypt to try to escape from the Babylonians.、Yeah. He didn't want him to do it. Told him not to. He's upset. He's going to get him for that. And God, we know what He looks like when He's upset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Crazy. He looks crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I I can kind of picture him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so I'm hoping that that is the last time we say. Oh no, we're in Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeremiah is going to be repeating this. It's different people doing different things. It's、uh -huh. making God mad in various But it's, ways. It's always God threatening. Yeah, he's always going to do the pestilence and the disease. Sword, and, yeah, yes.、Mm -hmm. But now we have something completely different. Oh, great! Verse fifteen: All the men whose wives burned incense to other gods in Egypt said to Jeremiah, "We won't listen to the words that you claim are God's words." We'll do whatever we want, including burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and pour out drink offerings to her. Queen of Heaven. Yeah. Are we talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus? Yeah, Mary, the mother of God. Huh. No, we're not. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's familiar to us because you know we were Catholics. Yes. So so you were a Catholic. Uh huh. You remember people talking about the Queen of Heaven? I mean, that's a thing in the Catholic Church. Yes, all dressed in blue. Holding the baby Jesus in her arms, she probably doesn't want incense burned to her, does she? She likes candles. Oh no, she loves incense,、oh. and they burn incense to her all oh, the time. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah, Catholics love incense. They、mm -hmm. burn incense to Mary all the time. It's one of the things that the Protestants get so angry about, and they can point to these verses to say, "Hey, Catholics, you shouldn't be talking about the Queen of Heaven, and you shouldn't be burning incense to her, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got a point, <laughs> but it's not the point that's being made here because. Jesus hasn't been born yet. There's no Mary. They're not talking about the Queen of Heaven. It's、okay. someone else, some other god,、mm -hmm. uh, female probably god. an Egyptian god. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So verse eighteen. Er Since we stopped burning incense and making cakes for her, we've been plagued by war and famine. <laughs> yeah. So it was working for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Since we've stopped, we've been plagued.、Yeah. Before that, everything was good because、uh -huh. we were. Worshiping the Queen of Heaven and and offering and, her incense. Yeah, and she protected us. That's right. Okay, verse twenty. Then Jeremiah said to the people, "God destroyed the cities of Judah because you burned incense in them, disobeyed His laws, and committed other abominations." Now you and your wives have said, "We will burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour drink offerings to her." This is what God says about that. I swear by my own great name that no one will speak my name again anywhere in Egypt. <laughs> He swears by his own great name. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do evil things to you and kill you with the sword and famine, except for a small remnant of you, who I'll let survive and return to Judah. After you go to Babylon and serve as servants for a few years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, chapter forty-five. God told Jeremiah to say to Baruch, "I'm going to bring evil on all flesh." 
but I'll let you live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Baruch was his, was Jeremiah's scribe. Yeah. Uh huh. It's nice. He's going to let Baruch live, but he's going to bring evil on everyone else, I guess. Yes. Chapter forty six. By the way, these little chapters, they're small chapters, just a few verses, mm -hmm. and I'm leaving a lot out. Thank you. Yeah, chapter 46. This is what God said to Jeremiah about the Gentiles. This is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance. The sword will devour and be made drunk with blood. Drunk with blood? That's kind of a clever title, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the sword will devour and will be made drunk with blood. Yeah, that's not the first time that that phrase has been used, and it won't be the last time either. It's it's a thing in the Bible. Hmm. Sword's getting drunk with blood. Strange thing. Yeah. Verse 14. The sword will devour in Egypt. God has forced your valiant men to kill each other. God will punish Pharaoh and all the gods of Egypt. He'll deliver them into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. This is what God says about the Philistines. Water will come from the north and flood the land, causing everyone to howl. Fathers won't be able to save their children. The people in Gaza will be bald. When will they stop cutting themselves? He said just bizarre things. <laughs> yeah. But we'll just go on. <laughs> okay. So we have another location where we will find out what the horrible things happened. There. He's got a list here of people he's going to... Do hurt. the pretty much the same thing too, right? Mm -hmm. But he has a lot of interesting ways of describing the same thing. Okay. This is what God says about Moab. Every city, valley, and plain will be destroyed. I will curse whoever's sword isn't bloody. Moab will get drunk. So I've got to stop you there. I will curse whoever's sword isn't bloody. Oh, they're not killing hard enough. That's right. He's wanting people to kill, particularly the people in Moab. Mm -hmm. Anyone whose sword isn't bloody with the with the blood of a Moabite, yeah, he's going to be angry with. He's going to curse. Yeah, I don't want God's curse on me. Well, then you got to kill some Moabites. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, and and use a sword. Okay. and get it bloody. Okay, all right. Moab will get drunk and wallow in its own vomit. Mm. If you live in Moab, leave the cities and go live in a rock. God will howl for Moab. Every head will be bald and every beard trimmed. They will cut their hands and put sackcloth on their loins. The people of Moab will wail and howl from the housetops, for I have broken Moab like a bowl that I dislike. Whoever runs in fear will fall into the pit. Whoever escapes the pit will get caught in the snare. Woe to you, Moab! I'll enslave all your sons and daughters in the latter days. Is that where the latter day saints come from? <laughs> I don't know what that latter days thing, but that's what it says, so I put it in there. Okay. Chapter 49. I will destroy the Ammonites and burn their women with fire. Howl, gird yourself in sackcloth, and run to and fro in the hedges. I have made Esau naked, revealed his secret places, and killed his children. I have sworn by myself that all the cities of Edom will be destroyed. Everyone who sees it will hiss. Just like in Sodom and Gomorrah, everyone in Edom will die. Okay, I'm starting to get a little down now. <laughs> okay. But we're almost done with this episode. Yeah. Uh -huh. Verse 24. Damascus is the city of my joy. Its young men will fall in the streets, and its soldiers will die in battle. Chapter 50. Babylon will be destroyed and will never be inhabited again. Whoever sees it will hiss. Kill all the bullocks in Babylon. Woe to them. It's time for their punishment. Their horses will be killed with the sword, and their men will become like women. Don't know what that means, really. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get their penises cut off. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> no, he's saying that men in the Bible mm -hmm. should be manly. They should be manly men. Okay. And he's going to make them like women. Oh. He's going to mess with the men and make them feminine. Okay. Instead of masculine. Bad thing for the biblical God. God in the Bible is a man. Mm-hmm. 
(laughs) (laughs) You may not have noticed, but he doesn't really like women too much. No. Yeah. But isn't making men like women... It's not a compliment, if that's what you're thinking. (laughs) No, but it's kind of making them gay, which he doesn't like. But he doesn't like women either. Oh, I don't think he's even thought of gay. Oh, (laughs) No. No, actually, this is something that the Bible scholars talk about quite a bit. The, The concept of gay of homosexuality really wasn't very clear in the Bible. Uh, there wasn't a very clear concept of it. No. So, I've, so I'm told. I'm not sure I believe that. <laughs> anyway, God's going to make the men like women, and I don't think he's meaning that to be a good thing. Okay. Like Sodom and Gomorrah, their land will never be inhabited again. Chapter 51. I will create a wind to destroy Babylon. Let archers shoot all the Babylonians. Don't spare the young men. Dead bodies will cover Babylon, and impaled bodies will line the streets. Babylon is God's golden wine cup, from which all the nations will drink and become mad. Babylon has been destroyed. Howl for her. Make bright the arrows. It's the vengeance of God. You are my battle axe and weapon of war. With you, I'll break the nations in pieces and destroy kingdoms. I'll break everyone in pieces. There won't be a single stone or foundation left in Babylon. It will be desolate forever. The mighty men of Babylon will become like women. Babylon will become a dwelling place for dragons. No one will live there. I'll force the rulers of Babylon to get drunk. Then they'll go to sleep and never wake up. That is not a bad way to die. I think they're they're pretty lucky there yes. I think, compared to the way everybody else is going to die here. Okay, now I think we're on the home stretch, Steve. <laughs> I think so. Verse 59. In the fourth year of his reign, when Zedekiah went to Babylon, Sariah went with him. Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that would happen to Babylon. Before Sariah left for Babylon, Jeremiah said to him, Read these words when you get to Babylon. When you finish reading this book, tie a rock to it and throw it into the Euphrates River and say, Thus will Babylon sink. All right, that whole little story is a little bit weird. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's to make a point. They have strange ways of making points. Tie a rock onto a book and throw it in the Euphrates River. Uh, Because it it might float around, and we don't want that to happen to Babylon, that it would come back to life. Yeah, so Babylon's going to sink like the book that Uh he threw in the river. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. (laughs) And now chapter 52, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Chapter 52 is about the destruction of Jerusalem. We've covered that several times before, so we're not going to cover it here. Jerusalem was destroyed. Uh Uh-huh. And the temple was burned. That's it. That's the destruction of Jerusalem that's described in the last chapter of Jeremiah. And... Zedekiah also died there. Oh, yeah. He, We've talked about that before. Times. Yes, his eyes got poked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had so to watch the, his kid die. Right. We've also had the destruction of Jerusalem before. <laughs> it's it's a Jeremiah. I think Jeremiah had the same problem, much the same problem as Isaiah did. Remember Isaiah was written by three different authors at different times? Yes. Jeremiah wasn't quite as confused in its origin, but apparently there were several authors to it. And all written about the same time during the Babylonian captivity, Mm -hmm. but kind of just thrown together in various ways. And so you end up with this jumbled mess that's often out of chronological order. Okay. So that's why there's been so much repetition here. It's told in a little bit of a different way. And we kind of see, oh, yeah, we've already had that before, but this was different. Whoever the authors of Jeremiah might have been. Mm -hmm. All they really had to say is everyone's going to be destroyed. And there's nothing you can do about it. So just put up with it and Mm -hmm. don't complain. And don't go to Egypt. Don't go to Egypt. (laughs) (laughs) Because you're supposed to go to Babylon. And don't fight against Nebuchadnezzar when he tries to take over your country. That's it. In a minute, you and I read all of Jeremiah to our listeners. That's right. Sorry we had to put you through. (laughs) Well, there were some fun stories. I I like the underwear story. Yes. uh, Uh, Oh, when he took the rocks and carried them to Egypt. That was mm -hmm. fun. And then he threw the book in the 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 river. river. (laughs) Okay. Okay, listeners. Thank you so much for staying with us through Jeremiah.
And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, you know what we're going to do next time? I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to go celebrate right now. Well, we're finished, Jeremiah. Uh Uh-huh. Now we're going to do the Lamentations of Jeremiah. Oh, the Lamentations of Jeremiah. Doesn't that sound fun? Wait a minute. Wouldn't that be the the Lamentations of Jeremiah? Jeremiah, the... Lamentations, Lamentations and Jeremiah are kind of similar. Yes. We've already been through the Lamentations <laughs> yes. of Jeremiah, right? Yeah, so, but we're going to have a book that's uh-huh. called The Lamentations of Jeremiah, but it's a short book. Oh, good. And we will do it in one episode. <gasps> yes. And then on to Ezekiel. Oh. Which the, is... Well, how do we describe that book? You cannot describe Ezekiel. <laughs> <laughs> can't, it can't be done. Okay, listeners, did you hear that? Don't go doing a little preview on your own. We will... uh... Or do. Try to read it. It would be great. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Thanks, Steve, for helping us plug through this book. Sure. And everybody, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.